Hi, right, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing, back with another quick tag. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the all new nine foot five weight Gray's Kite. And this is the middle of the lineup for Gray's, and I'm really excited to see how it performs. The 22-23 season is a big one for Grays. They've revamped the entire lineup and replaced some really popular rods like the GR60 and the GR80 with the Lance, Kite, and Wing. Not only that, but they've expanded the lineup massively so you can get particularly the Wing in all sorts of different sizes. And we've got full reviews on the Wing and the Lance on our channel right now, so make sure you check them out if you want more detailed information on this Gray's lineup. But now, back to this kite. The kite sits at a price point that's about $50 more than the Lance. And the Lance is a really, really great rod. And so, whenever there's a mid price point, especially following a really great rod, it begs a lot of questions that need to be answered. Like, first and foremost, can they make it better whilst changing that price? Now, usually the question is in the opposite direction. Can they make it better while lowering the price? But in this case, I was so impressed with the Lance that it forces me to ask the question in reverse. But before we dive into how it casts, let's take a quick overview on this kite and show you some of the differences between it and the Lance. First up, you're getting this great, hardy, double up locking reel seat. And the thing I really like about it, and we saw this with the Ultralight SR series, is this cool asymmetrical reel seat. It doesn't look asymmetrical, but it still gives you all the benefits of not really moving around. Very nice. They've also upgraded the reel seat with some wood over that lance. But beyond that, this rod is gonna be almost identical. We've got pretty standard guides going up the rod. I wanted to briefly interrupt this review to let you know that this video is supported 100% by your purchases at Trident Fly Fishing. So if you're in the market for some new tackle, check us out at tridentflyfishing.com. I started casting the kite right after the Lance, and I really love the Lance. It's just an absolutely fantastic rod that's gonna fit a wide range of anglers. The kite on the other hand, was a bit of a conundrum. It wasn't perfect with the MPX, but it wasn't terrible. And it also wasn't perfect with a Rio InTouch Gold, but it also wasn't terrible. It's really a rod that's got a more moderate action, but a lot of quick recovery deep in the blank. I think the angler that this kite is really gonna fit well is the angler who is beginning to maybe intermediate, who isn't putting a whole lot of line speed on his cast. Really is a rod that doesn't need to be double hauled, and the rod does a lot of that work for you. On the other hand, if you're looking to really learn and advance your cast, it might actually hold you back a little bit. Overall, I'd say if there's one takeaway from this particular review on the kite, at least this nine foot five weight, is that you should definitely cast this rod before buying it. And I personally would also recommend going out and casting a lance which is an absolutely superb rod and I think will really be better for most anglers. And if you're one of our viewers from the UK, don't forget that we offer free shipping on orders over 600 US dollars and low cost shipping on orders below that. So if you're enjoying this video and you're from the UK, please support us by buying from tridentflyfishing.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we've got lots of great Hardy and Grays reviews coming right up. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.